Today we're going to show you how to replace the seals in your pneumatic actuator. This is a one inch Asepco pneumatic actuator. The same process can be used through, from half inch through four inch pneumatic actuators. What you'll need for, for this is obviously the actuator, replacement seal kit, o-ring tools, half inch wrench, three quarter inch wrench, snap ring pliers, and either a, a spanner wrench or adjustable pin wrench or a custom made pin wrench. So the first thing you need to do to replace the seals in your pneumatic actuator is remove this lid. You can do that using a, a spanner wrench or a pin wrench as it's sometimes called. And you're going to put the pins in the holes and remove the lid. Or you can simply make a rod or a bar and pit with pins at the right position which is what we do in the shop because it gives you better leverage and once you put it on you simply undo the lid you don't have to worry about the spring inside because it's not a, a high tension spring it's it's a it's a short compression spring so and now remove the lid. Now I can start taking all the insides apart to remove the seals. Okay, now that we've removed the lid, we need to take the insides out to get to the rest of the seals. So the first thing, you're going to take out the spring, remove the shaft. That leaves us with one seal set in the bottom, and the seals here, and the seals in the lid. So the first thing I'm going to do is take this shaft apart. Once I take the hardware, the nut and washer off, I can push this piston off to get to this O-ring here. I'm going to take my O-ring removal tool and I'm just going to take the O-ring off. I'm going to use the same tool to get this X ring seal off of here, or quad ring seal is another term that's used. I'm going to take my seal kit. So I'm going to take and get rid of my old seals. First, I'm going to reinstall the outer seal on the piston. So this is a quad ring seal or an X ring seal. Once you have it installed, you want to look around and make sure you didn't get it twisted or anything. Then I need to reinstall this O-ring on this shaft. Okay, I'll use this hooked O-ring tool to install it. Carefully bring it over the threads. and into place. And I'm going to make sure to lubricate the seal. And I'm going to reinstall the piston. When you install the piston, the flat face should be against the stop. The nut that you put on should be on the close the recess side of the piston. So install my lock washer, install the nut, and once I've got them reinstalled, 
going to go ahead and tighten those. I'll have a torque. Now that, now that that's reinstalled, I'm going to set that aside for the moment so that I can get the seal out of here. So first I'm going to use the snap ring pliers to remove the snap ring. There's still a washer and a seal in there, so I got to get those out. Use an O-ring removable, o -ring removable tool or some small blunt object to push it out. Now those have been removed. Here's the old old seal set. Take my new one and lubricate it. And install it in here. Push that into place and reinstall the washer. And then I'm going to reinstall the snap ring. The kit does come with spare snap rings in case you damage one removing it. Check to make sure I got the snap ring in the groove, which I did. Now I'm going to take this piston and I'm going to lubricate the outer seal. Once I have that lubricated, I'm going to reinstall it and reinsert my spring. Now I've got to remove the seals from, from the lid. So take the other snap ring out. Oops. And I have to remove this, this inner seal like I did from the sleeve. There we go. Get rid of the old seal. on the outer seal here. Lubricate the inside of the seal. And reinstall it in the lid. Reinstall the washer. And reinstall the snap ring. Now the lid's ready to be, oops, that's the inner seals. I have two outer seals here. There's a thin one and there's a thick one. They're, they're pretty different from each other. Remove that seal. Remove the lower seal. I reinstall the thick seal on the bottom. It, as, as you can see, it won't even fit the top area, really. It's going to go all the way down. And then I'm going to install this in the groove at the top here. Make sure they're not twisted after you install them. And then put some lubricant on both seals.
You'll also notice that there's lubricant on the threads here. That does help when you're reinstalling. Uh, there's enough usually left over that you don't need to add additional, but if you have extra left over, you can put more lubricant on the threads if you think it's necessary. And then once you've got it started, you're going to go ahead and Again, using either a spanner wrench or a pin wrench or a custom-made pin wrench, you're going to reinstall the lid at your vise.